Good afternoon, Trinidad and Tobago. I'm Karen Kozia Philip, and this is your CNews update. Government has condemned the attack at the Manchester Arena in the UK, which left almost two dozen dead and more injured. The Attorney General called the act horrific and cowardly. In a release, A.G. Faris al Rawi said the fact that the attack targeted an event where many children and young people were expected to be and were in fact in attendance makes the barbarism of this attack even more odious. The release further stated that all nations must stand together in solidarity with the British people and that the global community must improve its efforts in the fight against terrorism and the financing of terrorism. Manchester police identified the suicide bomber as Salman Abedi and are investigating whether he acted alone or as part of a wider terror cell. National Security Minister Edmund Dillon has confirmed that work has begun on the new Roxborough Police Station. This as he spoke on the matter of national security infrastructure in Tobago. And the Old Greens Police Stations, as you're aware, the Old Greens Police Station is one that has been earmarked for construction this year. So we have now looking at the determination as to the site of that particular police station to begin construction by the end of this year. The National Security Minister said there are plans to refurbish the old Roxborough fire station, but he said Udicott would advise the government how to proceed with this particular project. Prison infrastructure was also part of the discussions. We are looking at relocating the prison, the Tobago prison that is, to the Hope Estate. The prison is currently located near the Scarborough Police Station, but has been plagued with a number of infrastructural issues. That was your C News update. I am Karen Kozia-Philip.